Hello, my name is Charles Fox. And I'm Warren Miller. And today we're going to be talking about the pain points within a solar proposal. It's really important, Charles, that when you look at a solar proposal or you compare multiple pro proposals, that you dig into the fine print and some of the sticky points that you might not be uh, jump right out at. Right. You. Yeah. So, uh, what are some of those pain points that you see time and time again that maybe a customer did not expect? You know, frequently we see the. Uh, the warranties or guarantees get really cloudy mm. and not very clear and particularly a production guarantee. Right. You know, you might get somebody to sell you a solar system like this one here. It looks beautiful, it's well installed, but it doesn't produce what they promised. And right. so I think a production guarantee is something you should really get into the details of. Yep, and another variable that could come as a surprise is you may need a transformer or a service side upgrade, service size upgrade. So if your system, your service size is not large enough to accommodate an array of the size you're looking at, uh, if your installer didn't account for that on the front end, uh, that may be a requirement from the utility that you Absolutely. upgrade your transformer. So that's an added cost that, that no one wants. And many times installers don't necessarily know that cost up front. So it's really important to you that you know that there potentially could be an unforeseen cost or, uh, in the proposal as well for those upgrades. Right. Another pain point that we've seen for, with our experience is we're, post, we're pounding posts into the ground. We don't always know what's underneath there. And if we hit rock or something that we can't physically get the post in the ground, there's going to be added cost to remove or to drill out that rock. So that's a pain point that we've seen from time to time. Yes, it is. And, and another one to look into is internet monitoring. You know, right. solar arrays today are so sophisticated, we monitor them on the uh, over the internet, and you get to monitor yours as well and see how it's producing. But one of the uh, issues that could be hidden in that proposal is how is that system going to get connected to the internet? Is the customer going to supply the internet right. or is the installer right. going to provide the right. internet? And another pain point is the roof. You're putting a solar system on the roof and when they do the weight load analysis realize we can't put that much weight on that roof. It cannot support it. Who pays for that structural upgrade? And so that becomes another pain point where it's, you know, you're excited about solar I suddenly can't put it on my roof because yeah. of the added weight. Yeah. Another thing to look into, Charles, is to grants or SRECs or any uh, monetary uh, promise that's in that proposal, whether or not they're accurate or and guaranteed. Yeah. So pain points can come in the fine print or what is not in the proposal. So Correct. if it's not comprehensive enough to spell out some of those things, don't ever assume those things. Uh, and at the same time, if the fine print waters down, say that production guarantee to the point where it's, it's almost null and void, you need to be aware of that as well. So those are some pain points we see. Hopefully you find that helpful as you look at a solar proposal.